Hello and welcome to Bruce Springsteen Guitar Lessons. Today's lesson is going to be If I Was a Priest from Letter to You. Thanks very much to subscribe star Carl Sutton for the request.
Hello and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that walkthrough. So now what we'll do is go through all the individual parts. Okay, so for this song, the capo is going to be on fret three. Uh, so the key is in B flat major. The tempo is approximately 80 uh, BPM, uh, give or take. Of course, let's take a look at the chords first. So what we've got is a G major, kind of a, a Bruce style G. But this is, um, we're going to put your little finger on the third fret of the B string this time. Uh, and I do think he's playing possibly sometimes the middle finger, second fret A. Sometimes he blocks it off. We've got it down for this time. So middle finger, second fret A, and then third finger, low E. And you're not really playing the high E string, so you kind of want to block that out. So that's, that's the G chord. Then you've got a D over F sharp. Bruce will often play the root note with his thumb. If I suggest playing it, it's kind of like, I don't know, second, third, or four fingers, or four first, second, and four fingers, or first, second, and third. So uh, you just get a bit more control, I think. Um, so that's first finger, this is D over F sharp, first finger, second fret, low E, middle finger, second fret, G, and third finger, or fourth finger, on the third fret of the, um, the B string, okay, so that's D over F sharp, brilliant sounding chord, and he often does that as a run to kind of go from G uh, to one of the other chords. Okay, so I think also in the intro, uh, sorry, the first verse, he's also doing a kind of a G5 over F sharp, okay, sounds crazy, but all it is really, I think is, I think he's playing, he's keeping his little finger on the third fret of the B string, which we'll use for pretty much throughout the song. Just leave that there. Uh, and then middle finger, again, he'll probably use his thumb on the second fret of the low E, block out the A string. This is just in the kind of the first verse, I think, uh, once or twice. Okay, and then you've got a C add nine chord. Really, really nice chord. Again, so you'll sometimes play this without the open E, and sometimes you will play it the open E string. So again, the little finger stays there in the third fret B, uh, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, third fret of the A. So you can move quite easily from the G there, the C at nine. Now I think what he's doing uh, in the kind of really cool kind of break section, he's then going, moving those middle and third fingers to kind of form this kind of triangle, which is kind of an F6 uh, type chord. So third finger, third fret uh, D, middle finger, second fret G, and then little finger, uh, third fret B. Again, because of the capo, they'll be called different things. What actually is coming out is different. Um, we're just referring to the original chord names. So that'll be uh, uh, A flat six, I think. Um, okay, cool. So. That's F6, okay, and then we've also got a D sus2 over F sharp, which is basically the same as the D over F sharp. In the verses, I think I can hear a bit of the open E string as well, so it's basically just that D over F sharp with the uh, open E string. Then you've also got this E minor 7 chord, amazing chord. Again, leave your little finger there. First finger, second fret um, A, middle finger, second fret D. Again, or you could use your middle third as well. Um, so just whatever's comfortable there. <coughs> and also ease of changing as well. Normal C major chord. Okay, which would actually be a E flat chord. Capo. Uh, so that's a C major chord. So third finger, third fret A. Middle finger, second fret D. First finger, first fret B. A minor chord. Okay, so uh, strumming from the A string, middle finger, second fret D, third finger, second fret G, first finger, first fret B. Okay, and also with the E minor seven chord, you can play it with the open E, and then sometimes I think you I can't be here on the record, so block out the, the, um, the B string there. And the same with the C at nine as well, sometimes we'll play it with the E, sometimes we'll play it without the E. And you've also got a standard E minor chord. This is kind of for the Niels part, the kind of acoustic -y part um, in the seventh verse and the end of the sixth verse. Cool, yeah, so it's one, two, three, uh, so it's 12 chords there, but some of them are kind of just variations. Um, so some really nice chords. So for example, you know, when I say the variations, it's C add nine that way with the E or, block, or blocking it out, okay? So some nice bunch of chords there. Um, again, this is an unbelievable song from the uh, the new album. It's just really, really good. Okay, so um, 
So now what we're going to do is go through the first verse, okay? Now, also worth bearing in mind, he's kind of palm muting kind of the, um, the first kind of part, the first two quavers or eighth notes of each chord. So, whereas later on, we won't be doing any palm muting. So what you have, what's happening is you're going to get your G ready. Now, this is this kind of two beat pattern that you really want to get familiar with. This is throughout pretty much most of the song, okay? So the pattern goes like this, down, 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 up, okay? So one and two and a. Okay, and what you're gonna do is kind of hit the bassier notes to start with on the first two strums of each of the chords. Or uh, for this particular bar, for example, we're kind of palm muting the first two, the first beat, one. And then when the pattern repeats, we're palm muting it again. So you, counting wise, you're going one and two and a. That's two quavers or eighth notes um, for the first beat. And then you're also doing uh, a quaver or eighth note followed by two semi-quavers or 16th note. So, so beat one goes one and, one and, and then beat two goes two and, uh, two and, uh, and the idea is you want to dampen down kind of the, the kind of the, the first two strums of this two beat pattern. This is basically a two beat pattern repeated. Okay, so one, two, and then repeat it, three, four. Again, just nice little dynamics there. One and two and uh, three. Then the second bar has got D over F sharp. One, same pattern. Then we've got a split bar of E minor seven. So you do that for the two beats. One and two and that. And that D, G five O, F sharp. Okay. And then you've got the C add nine for a whole bar. Okay. And then you're going to repeat that. But the second time round of this eight bar phrase you're going to do a slightly different strumming pattern for the C add 9. So just play those first four bars of the song so far. So we've got this G, D F over F sharp, E minus 7, G5 over F sharp, C add 9. And then when we repeat it, which is now bar 5, D over F sharp, E minus 7, uh, G5 over F sharp. Now for this this final bar, so this, sorry, the eighth bar, the first first. What we're now going to do is basically the first two beats are the same. One and two. And I can hear him doing something like this. Three and four and a. So basically beat three here is a slightly different 16th note pattern. Uh, I've also done lots of videos on my other channel, JS Music School um, YouTube channel on 16th note strumming. So it'd be really worth you just getting into this. Check out the last couple of videos Click on the card above and that will take you to that if you're struggling with uh, 16th note or semi quaver patterns. So here you're going one and two and uh, So I call this kind of a pattern two uh, in my other video, JS Music School Challenge. So you're going to go three E and. So that's two semi quavers with 16th notes followed by a quaver or eighth note. So three E and. Three E and. Okay, and then you're going to go um, four and. Uh, same as you kind of beat two pattern, okay? So those last two beats of the eighth bar, the first verse is going to go down, up, down, 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 up. Counting wise, three E and four and a. So the whole bar, one and two and a, three E and four and a. Again, you're kind of palm muting uh, beats one and three on the whole, okay? Um, cool, so that's the whole of the first verse. So let me just go through that again. So, uh, sorry, the f first half of the first verse. One and two, three and four, and a one and two, and a three and four, and a one and two, and a three and four, one and two, and a three, and then you loop it but change the last bar. D over F sharp, E minus seven, G5 over F sharp, C F nine, and the piano and other instruments comes in there. So now we're basically going to do the same thing. G, D over F sharp. Now we're going to do a whole bar of E minor seven. Then C add nine. Uh, but for this bar four uh, of this bit here, you're going to do the what you did on the eighth bar. Okay, so. This bar four of this next section, you're going to go one and two and a three and four and a. Also put the uh, song structure up on the screen now. 
So hopefully you'll, that'll help you piece everything together because uh, a lot of the stuff is repeated, which I'll go through in a bit as well. So um, it's worth kind of, all the song structures will be in the description as well. Again, any chords in brackets means there's one or more chord in that particular bar. So let me just go through, um, so this will be 9, 10, 11, 12 um, of the first verse. One. D over F sharp, so then a whole bar of E minor seven this time. Okay, and then we're going to loop that, um, but only play the G and the F sharp the second time, and then a different ending, so second ending. So you've got G, D over F sharp, and then this next bar, we're going to do E minor seven to, to um, G5 over F sharp. And I think he's just strumming his C add nine, but only for two beats. So it's a bar of two four, which basically means there's only two beats in the bar, okay? So what I'm gonna do is gonna do the second half of the first verse. This is when the piano comes in, okay? So G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, C add nine. Go back to the G. G over F sharp. E minus seven. G five over F sharp. And then one, two. Cool. So then you go through that to the awesome kind of break section. Okay, so the break section is basically a two bar riff. Uh, sometimes you're going to do it um, once, sometimes you're going to do it twice. Uh, it's also a big part of the outro. Um, as well, so it's basically the same two bar riff looped. So definitely check the song structure, because sometimes he does this once, this two bar phrase, sometimes he does it twice. And in the outro, you're kind of doing it uh, eight times in total, but the last six times are the guitar solo, okay? So this break section, which sounds awesome, the chord's gonna be G, then move your second and third to the C add nine. Ideally, you wanna block the low E for this, and then you move it again, for the F6. Um, I was watching the kind of um, the documentary on Apple TV to get some hints about what he was doing. And it's good to see the, pat, the camera pan around. I can kind of work out roughly what they're doing um, sometimes. It was also helpful to see. Um, so we'll, I, I won't be going through it in the lesson because there's a lot to get through, but basically um, in the tabs, which will be available in Subscribestar or from the so subscribestar.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen Guitar or uh, the website, my new website soon, when it's really done, you better get the tabs, you'll be able to get all of Stevie's parts as well. So Stevie's parts are basically the same, but different chord voices from um, the capo will be on the first fret, okay? It's basically to match up what you're doing or what Bruce and Neil's are doing and give it a really thicker sound. So it's but they're basically the same chords um, that are coming out, but just to thicken up. Okay, so this basically this first break, <laughs> G, C add nine, F6, C add nine. Now the rhythm, uh, to start this two bar phrase, you've got a crotchet, a quarter note, so one, two, and a. Okay, one, again, no palm muting here, one, two, and a. Now for beat three, you've got this 16th note pattern, which is gonna go three E and, uh, so two semiquavers and then a quaver, or two 16th notes and an eighth note, so three E and. But what you're gonna do, so this is the, the rhythm pattern, three E and. But what you're doing is you're changing to the C F nine, this is a really important bit, on the E of three. So you're going like this, three E and. So the rhythm again, one, uh, three E and. Then down, up, down. So you're moving to the C F nine on the upstroke, on the, th the, th the E of three. So let me just show you beats one, two, and three of this first uh, for this break section. So one and two and a three E and, and then beat four is the same as beat two in terms of rhythm. So four and a down, down, up. So one, two and a um, three E and four and a one down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Cool. And then what you're gonna do? Let's move to the F, uh, F6, but on the E of one. So same pattern we just did in that beat three. You're gonna go one E and, one E and. 
to change from the CF9 to the F6. This is bar two now, this main kind of riff. So one E and, one E and, down, up, down. And then you gotta go down, down, up. So two and, uh, and then kind of change, same sort of thing here on the E of three. Three, E and, four and, uh. So that bar two is kind of awesome, kind of, um, kind of main break section. One E and, two and, uh, three. both bars together, you got this. One, two, and a three, e and four, and a one, e and two, and a three, e and four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 down. Cool, okay, so now what we're gonna do is go on to the kind of second verse, okay? So the second verse, you don't wanna do any more, the whole band comes in, you know, in that first break, so then you're not gonna do any more palm muting. Uh, but it's pretty much the same rhythms, okay? So the second verse, what we're gonna do is uh, G major here, okay? So what we've got is one and two, that two bar riff. And then you can kind of play the D sus two over F sharp here. One and two, and three and four, and a whole bar, E minor seven. And then C at nine, then G. Half a bar here, D over F sharp. And C add nine to A minor. So the rhythm here sounds awesome. You've got C major, two quavers or eighth notes, down up, then a rest for half a beat, and then you're accenting this A minor. The whole band does this, so it's really important. So you go one and two and three, four, or down, up, up, three, four. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, is E minor seven, half a bar, two and D over F sharp, and you've got that two um, beat of the C add nine. One, two, before going into the next break. So let me just go through that second verse. One and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a one and two and a three and four and a two and a three and four and a one and two. Cool, so that's the chords, all of the first verse, uh, all of the main break section, and the second verse. Okay, so let's now take a look at the song structure a bit more and, and how many times you do each section. So in terms of the, the break section, so the first break, you do it uh, twice, so. so. The first break's twice. The second break, you only do it once. Then the third break, you do it twice again. The fourth break, once. Okay, and then you basically, again, as I was saying earlier, the outro is basically eight rounds of it. It does fade out on record. Uh, I've just done it so it's eight rounds and then just end on a, a G afterwards. Uh, so the outro is eight rounds, but the first two are without the guitar solo, and then six rounds of Stevie's guitar solo. Guitar solos will be available um, soon, probably tomorrow, on Subscribe Star and Patreon. Um, okay, cool. So um, in terms of the verses, the second verse that we just went through, in terms of structure, that's exactly the same as the fourth verse, uh, and it's pretty much the same as the fifth verse. The only thing you have to remember in the first, the fifth verse is that first four bars are done twice. So let me just play um, the, the fifth verse, okay? So. Then D, uh, D sus two over F sharp, E minus seven, and then C add nine. We're gonna do it again. This is the only difference between the fifth verse the fourth verse and the second verse. And then you've got the kind of G to the D F sharp, C, E minor, uh, seven to D F sharp, C F nine. Cool, uh, and then the sixth verse. So what we're gonna do at the end of the sixth verse 
is where it kind of all comes down a little bit. Uh, the seventh verse is just really minimal, and I think it's Neil's or it's an acoustic um, doing this bit. Um, so what I've done on the walkthrough, have you seen earlier? I've played it on the electric, but it's actually I think it's done on the acoustic. So basically, the last two bars of your kind of standard verse pattern. So this is the kind of the E minor to D over F sharp and the C add nine. Um, so you've got your normal, uh, the first six bars are the same. So I'll just go through that. So this is the, fir the uh, first six bars of the sixth verse. So G. Then D, D sus 2 over F sharp. E minor 7. Then C add 9. Then all, all usual stuff at the moment. G, D F sharp, then C. And then what you've got, you've got this picking pattern, okay? So it sounds something like this. So you get your kind of E minor chord. Actually, you only need your middle finger really on the second fret of the D. So I'm going to go E, then the D, then G, uh, B, G. Okay, so E, D, B, G, then D over F sharp, same picking pattern. I'm going alternate picking here, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you've got the 2-4 two, uh, bar of C at 9 again, and just pick it. So A, D, G, B. And then you've got an extra two bars of G here, where you're just picking the, um, kind of in preparation for the seventh verse. Down, up, down, up, three, four. Down, up, down, up, three, four. So they're all quaver eighth note rhythms. So those um, four bars, so it's coming at the end of this sixth first, uh, the end of the sixth verse here. So E minor, D over F sharp, C add nine, G, three, four. One and two and three. Cool. And now basically the seventh verse, you've got this four bar, the four bar phrase, um, but just with this soft picking here. Okay, so it's really soft, bring it all down, and then it's going to kind of rise up again for the kind of uh, eighth verse and the outro section. So sixth verse, you've got this four bar phrase, G, three, D over F sharp, E minor, just picking up the chords, and then C add nine. And you do that four times, and then basically after that, you've got uh, the fourth time round of that. You're going to kind of arpeggiate the C add nine. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the end of the fourth time of the seventh verse. Now, what I think is happening, it's at above nine eight rest here, or you can think of it as a four four with kind of a gap. So this is where there's a gap, and then Bruce, uh, you've got this kind of build up on the toms, the floor tom, and then you've got this gap where Bruce kind of, uh, so almost like a pause to get ready for the eighth verse. So you can either think of it as a bar of 4-4 four, four with a slight gap um, to Bruce to kind of cue, uh, cue back in the band, or you could count it as 9-8. Nine nine eight. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... <laughs> So that works. So this is nice. This is at the end of the seventh verse. After you've done that, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. And then you're basically into the eighth verse. Now the eighth verse, structure-wise, is basically the same as your kind of second and fourth verse, with that pattern, the main kind of pattern. Uh, we're going to do it three times. Okay. Again, so I've highlighted in the song structure times two, times three, etc. So eighth verse is three times, apart from on the very final round, um, instead of doing um, C at nine, oh, you're gonna do this, okay? You're gonna go one and two and three and four and that. So it kind of resolves back to G. So this is just the only bar that's kind of slightly different. So the final bar of the eighth verse goes C at nine to G, bar of four, four, instead of bar of two, four. One and Two and three and four and then you're gonna go down up down up up down down up. Now just because it's a bit more uh, full on this eighth first, what you can do instead of just strumming that C at nine on the first and second rounds of the eighth verse, you can kind of do something like this. So one and two and uh, just to kind of because it loops around one and two and uh. so what I'll do is I'll play the. Um, what will be the same uh, each time, the first and second rounds of the eighth verse, and then I'll do the final round as well. So, so it's first and second rounds of the eighth verse. To G, 
Diaz has still a better shot. E minus seven. CF nine. One and two and a three and four and one, two, three, four. E minus seven. DF shot. Let's pretend this is the uh, the second round of the eighth first. One and two and a. Then we're going to the third round, the final round of the eighth first. Yeah, this just helps to do a little bit more strumming on that CF9 bar, that 2-4 bar we just did. E minus 7, CF9, then G, D over F sharp, C, A, C, A minor, E minus 7, D over F sharp, and then that final bar, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and a. Cool, and then you've just got the outro section, so and a nice massive build up there. Cool, so I think that's all the parts. Um, it's a bit of a mammoth task, this one. But it's just such a brilliant song. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, that's pretty much all the parts. They're all, there's another thing to worth mentioning. I think I can hear on the record this, I don't know whether it's Stevie or Bruce. Uh, it sounds like there's another layer where they kind of arpeggiating the chords a little bit. So you can play around with that as well. Um, so say something like, if you do the verse section, there's, a, there's another a sort of overdub. So something like that you can play around. So just play around picking the chords if you're doing that in a band situation. So yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Any comments or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments section below. Please subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications if you haven't already. If you'd like to get hold of any of the tabs, you see it pop up on the screen. So these are all made in a brilliant program called Guitar Pro. Um, it's where you can kind of like slow down the song. It's basically, you're basically playing back the tab. You can slow it down, loop sections. Uh, it's a brilliant uh, program. You can also get files on in Guitar Tab PDF if you don't have the the, uh, the program. You can all get, also get access to backing tracks. These are all available on subscribestar.com forward slash Bruce Springsteen Guitar. So you can basically send your requests in every month. They get sent out to your email address. Also, there's lots of extra videos. So guitar solo videos, for example, for this one, that'll be available generally the day after I've put this out on YouTube. Um, you can also get access to uh, sort of extra tabs. So during this lesson part of the section, if you want extra tabs popping up on the screen, chord diagrams, they're also available on Subscribestar. Just check out the different tiers on there and requests are all done on the Bruce Legend tiers on there. Also, um, if you weren't really interested in the Subscribestar thing, my website will soon be ready. It's just been a big, big, big project doing this. You can get individual files. It will be laid out in alphabetical order. So backing tracks, guitar profiles or guitar PDFs, you can just pick and choose. Uh, so that'll be ready soon if you weren't really up for the Subscribestar uh, thing. Um, yeah, any questions about anything, let me know. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Bye.